Well, my name's Colin Morgan, and I'm playing the part of Merlin. There's certainly yeah, a lot of parallels, I think, between between me doing this job and, and me in real life. Um, I think I think for myself, coming from um, Armagh in Northern Ireland, this a small town, and coming to somewhere like London, for example, is is kind of parallels between between Merlin and myself. Uh, this certainly is is a big big challenge. Um, for a start, there's so much variety. I mean, within an episode of you know CGI stunts that you have to do, uh, it's followed by dramatic scenes, followed by talking to a green ball. I mean, those kind of challenges are something which which um, you know it takes a while to get used to. As in terms of where where the scripts are going, we have we have no idea. You know, it's as much a surprise to us as, as to the audience. And um, but certainly the the writing is fantastic, and and we, we get it's like Christmas whenever an episode comes through because you're getting to see it for the first time. And so we're just very excited about where it's all going to go. As an actor, um, you can never stop learning anyway. But uh, I think Richard Wilson is a is a good little uh, is a good teacher to have. I, th I think in the scenes, you know, you do you can't help but rub off and, and have uh, and have pick up on on his kind of technique as well. I was very excited to get to do my first stunt because it was my first stunt on this show, first stunt ever, um, really. <laughs> so whenever they were linking me up, I was well excited about it. And um, but it wasn't painful; it was fine because they, they had like padded the wall and all that. So, um, but yeah, I was well excited to get to do it. I'm Bradley James, and I play Arthur. We see Camelot at a time that's, um, I suppose, pre the sort of familiar myth, pre the the stories, the familiar stories that everyone's kind of aware of, sort of grows up knowing. We start with, with, with Merlin and Arthur in, in their younger years, where we uh, sort of see the process of what they go through to become the men that we know that they're going to become. And uh, their relationship is um, a little bit tetchy at first. I'm playing Uther with a U, not Arthur with an A, because Uther with an U goes U, not R. Um, Uther Pendragon, who is... Um, Arthur Pendragon's father. He basically is the the underbelly and the sort of the darkness of the kingdom, and he's basically what opposes Merlin and Gaius and all the forces of magic that um, are trying to sort of to make them, you know, to, to 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 bring magic back into the kingdom, and Uther is not having any of it. It's, you walk into in, through the gates, and you're in this cobbled courtyard that is, has got the vibe that it's you know it's, it's lived in, and it's the only medieval castle one I've been in that's kind of not got great chunks of stone missing. So you sort of you're in what, to all intents and purposes, is a working castle. Well, Lancelot and Merlin meet at the very beginning of episode six, where Merlin is being um, chased by a huge griffin and suddenly we see someone save his life and uh, that someone is Lancelot. So it's, uh, it's great, he starts off as, as a hero already. And uh, so that relationship, you can, you can see there's a real loyalty there and Merlin is extremely appreciative towards Lancelot. And then things turn around where Merlin ends up um, helping Lancelot out himself. I think it's a show that has uh, a huge potential, looks great, there's great characters, great storyline, a lot of action, Full of adventures, so that should really uh, that should really have a you know a big attraction for worldwide audiences. Uh, my name is Katie McGrath, and I play Morgana. I think the main main thing that's going to set it apart from everything is that sort of the the extra character in the show is magic. It's this unknown quantity. It's this you never know what's going to happen in each episode and how it's going to play out. And alongside that, it's it's more about this, this version of King Arthur is more about the relationship between all the characters and it's very much following the characters as they grow. It is a huge project. I mean, we film for eight months and we're, we're on location for some of that and we're, we're in studio and we film in France in the most fantastic chateau. And we all first came up to it as a cast collectively, stopped and in awe because this was exactly how we thought Camelot should look. And when you see that, I guarantee it, you're going to think it's CGI because you can't imagine that something that beautiful actually exists. It, it's special, it's different, and it's exciting. <laughs>